Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to rank in Google Maps. I'm going to break it down step by step and make it super simple. Watch this. All right, guys, hope everybody's doing great. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to rank in Google Maps, how you could do it yourself. I'm going to show you the simplest, easiest way to do it yourself. For whatever reason you can't or you're not getting rankings, shoot me a text. I'm getting rankings for all my clients. I think that you could do it yourself and I just want to show you how to do it. So that's what this whole video is about, how you could get more leads and more calls and uh, grow your business so you could take care of your family. So let's jump in right now. All right, guys, in this example today I'm going to use the keyword electrician but you could be a plumber or a lawyer or whatever you do I create videos for people who are trying to be found right here in the Google 3 pack they're trying to be found locally they're not selling a product that they could sell worldwide or nationwide they're not an accountant where they could do business in New York or California these are people that need to either drive to the dentist or the plumber needs to drive to them and anywhere in between those two two businesses. So let's talk first about your website. I'm using Starbucks as an example because everybody knows who Starbucks is and I think people will get the example. Starbucks is a worldwide company. Starbucks is not trying to only sell coffee in Seattle. They have a product that they sell. They're not focused in on one area. Think about that when I say that. They're not focused on one area. They're focused on their product and let's just say the service that they provide. Now, I found the website today and it's an electrician website here in Florida, really nice and designed beautifully and really done well. But let's use the example that we said before. When you create a website and you're trying to be found in the Google three pack in this area right here, what you need to do is you need to tell Google where you're located and what you do. I'll say that again, where you're located and what you do. Let's take a look at this website and, and no way am I picking on these people or making fun of their, but all I'm trying to do is trying to make a point by showing you why they're not ranking as opposed to a site that is ranking, okay? So this site right here, All Circuit Electric LLC is not ranking. Let's think about why. So here's what I want you to think about while you're looking at their website. What do they do and where do they do it? What do they do? So it says integrity, satisfaction. Okay, I saw a truck there for a second. Docks, services, boats, our services, landscape, home, and dock. Now, before you start to snicker, you're gonna take a look at your website. You're gonna see some of the same nonsense on your site. I guarantee you. Our services. So if you were Google and you were looking at this, what services would you think they are? Well, there's a good chance by them touching in the electric box that they probably have something to do with electrical but I'm not totally convinced where do they do this well somewhere where the weather's warm I guess because there's palm trees and there's boats okay we have the power safety integrity and satisfaction what do they do about us a guy screwing something into a piece of wood okay here's a picture of their truck very good okay why choose us excellence professionalism and expertise. I'm asking you a question. What do they do and where do they do it? Now with these new set of eyes, you're gonna take a look at your website. This is the picture I probably would have used, this one single picture I would have used on the main image where it was all the way up here, all the images were flashing right here. I would have just used a picture like this or similar. This says what they do, right? They're an electric company, these are their employees. I could almost guarantee this is a real company. These look like real people. Okay, safety, what our customers say about what and call. So basically we went through almost the entire site. We don't know what they do or where they do it. However, there appears to be a map from one area to another here in Florida. And this is driving directions from Apollo Beach or Riverview to Apollo Beach. By the way, this is the wrong map. If you're trying to be found in Google Maps, you want the, the Google Business Profile map embedded there. That's the one that could be found in your Google Business Profile 
file in here. Let's take a look at the navigation. Once again, home, services, about, why choose us, testimonials, and contact us. And before you start to laugh at them, you're going to take a look at yours. I can almost guarantee you got something similar happen on yours. If this is a national website like Starbucks, rewards, menu, gift cards, this is perfect. If you're trying to rank in your area, this is very tough navigation to rank in your area. Let's go over something a little bit different. This is one of the sites that we did, in fact, right in the beginning where I showed you all the green dots where they're ranking. The yeah, good reason is because of their website. Their website is designed properly. Now, you may say, I like the other one better. You know what? So do I. I like the way this looks. It looks nice. I like the, all these images and I like the colors. But this is what Google likes. Google wants to know what you do and where you do it. Certified electrician. Electrician is their GMB category. Where they're located is Marietta, Georgia. Electrical contractor, Marietta, Georgia, a trustworthy and professional, frequently asked questions, electricians. This little accordion right here is great for getting in a bunch of keywords. You could do an FAQ. You want to get them at the top because you want to make sure Google reads that. But this is a great way to see how many times we got in the word electrician and Marietta. See how many times we got that in? That's beautiful. Electrical company, Cobbs County. Marietta is Cobbs County. So you want to use the county name as well. You want to use the nickname of the town. Now, these are the services that they provide. These are, once again, more services. There's no doubt what this company does. Areas we serve, electrician, these are the areas. So if you want to rank in Smyrna, you need to have a page on your website that says that you do business in that area. You can't pick an area 100 miles away. Start with 10, 15 miles from your GMB location and find small towns that have good population, 50, 100,000 people and try to rank in those towns by creating areas we serve pages. Why choose us as your electrician in the Atlanta metropolitan area? Beautiful. What our customers say about us. It really should be what our customers say about Marietta electricians. You get my point. Look how the hours are listed. This used to be a big thing. It's not so much anymore, but it should still be done. You need to list the hours the same way they're listed in the Google business profile. Can you rank with just Mon through Fry? You certainly can. This is what Google wants to see. Remember I said before the map? See when I click the larger map? Over here you're going to see the GMB map. This is the map that you want on your Google business profile. How do you know? When you click it, you'll see you have your reviews. Let's go back to this website. Look at the phone number, how small it is on the upper right hand corner. And I don't know if it's repeated. So if I'm on my cell phone, right, because probably 60 or 70% of your traffic is coming through the cell, how much easier would it be if I was on the website just to tap these buttons? It's throughout the website I have to tap to call. See that over here? What credit cards do they take, right? That's important. What credit cards does this company take? I don't know. So we got that. Now, the first set of links their only gmb category here is electrician so your second and third gmb categories would go right down here they only have one category which is electrician so their first set of links is not home or about us first of all you know to click the logo to go home you don't need a home button so their first set of links are their keyword pages these are all the keywords that they're attempting to rank for these are the areas they serve and this is the contact us button now, if you need some more pages, you want to put about us, you want to put, you know, naturally your terms of service, all that, that all goes on the bottom. See, areas we serve, terms of service, contact us, that goes on the bottom. So you need to contact us up on top. Make sure you have your address. Your address goes on the bottom. You let people know up on top what areas you serve. Now I'm going to go over a couple of other things. So we went over the website, what the website should look like. Let's talk about pictures. If you were to Chattanooga electrician look how many times our client comes up our client comes up probably 70 or 80 percent of the time Google recognizes our brand why is that the first thing I do is I type in the name of the town plus electrician and I want to see the types of pictures that they're using and to me it's basically their logo with the vans so I want to make sure 
material that I have that on the website or also will like the circuit boxes that appears to be important to Google if I type in let's say Alaska electricians so that's a little bit different right some more outdoor stuff so Google sees these pictures up on lineman type pictures more important so you really need to type in the name of your town let's see Tampa I guess you can't go wrong with these circuit boxes and vents if you're an electrician but whatever your first GMB category is make sure you type in the name of your town plus your GMB category electrician dentist plumber whatever you do your GMB category and you make sure that you go to images and you want to look at all the images and see what other people are using because those are the type of pictures that you want to use on your website hey guys if you've made it this far please like and subscribe my video this really helps get it out to more people just like you looking to improve their business and improve their families lives all right so what my staff does is they create a website and they get all the pictures together they have their home page set up like this so they have uh, Google then they have YouTube Facebook Instagram LinkedIn Twitter Pinterest and Tumblr what they do is they'll take a picture so they'll take a picture like this and then what they'll do is they'll create a Google post a Facebook post Instagram LinkedIn Twitter they'll put it all over social media that's the reason why Google is picking up all those images for that client because what we do is we don't only just put it on the website we also put it all over social media and then you use Fiverr give those images to Fiverr and you have them posted on other websites like tumblers bloggers Wix website just get that image on other websites so Google sees that it's popular and if you could do that you're gonna blow out the images in your area you're gonna get ranked for those images what we're trying to do is we're trying to show Google that Google recognizes our brand and one of the ways that we could do it is through images so it's very very important you want to rank in a Google three pack Google has to recognize your brand one of the ways is through images another way is through reviews and I want to go through that right now all right guys so if you want to be found right here in the Google three pack what you need to do first is you need to run a grid report you'll notice right here I have my grid report when you first run a grid report it should all be red meaning that you just uploaded your website now you ran a grid report and it's all red so you reach out and you start watching videos like mine and you're like how do I turn this red green because once it's green then you're ranking in different areas and you're doing well the first thing you need to do you need to fix your website the second thing you need to do is you need to go to your Google business profile and you need to make sure that you have the right GMB categories so for example for electrician the GMB category is electrician you'll see it right here so you want to check your GMB categories you want to make sure that you have the proper categories in your GMB that's really really important let's come back to this grid in the upper left hand corner the dots were red what we need is somebody standing on those red dots giving a review using the word electrician for example mr. electric of Chattanooga is a fast affordable electrician they did a patio job for me where they did some outdoor work Work, describe the work describe the technician include the person's name who worked there you want to write about anywhere from 100 to 200 words somewhere around there and you want to add the keywords in there name of the company the person who came to your house they were affordable professional on time the type of job that they did you know an indoor and outdoor electrician residential commercial electrician job and they need to be standing at that location to rank in that location now three things have to happen guys one you need to have that location on your website saying that you do service in that area then you need to go to your Google business profile and you need to make sure that in your Google business profile it says that you service that area then the third thing is you need a review you need somebody that's not part of your organization that says that you've done work in that area but here's a couple of other tips I want you to start thinking like this let's just say you're gonna do a press release and you want to be found here in Enterprise South Nature Park somewhere around that area you want to be found in that area so you do a press release and you find all the little streets 
and or things to do, monuments and or police precincts, something original about that area. And when you do that press release, when you write a press release, you write about your business, but you also sprinkle in the places that are in that area, either streets, monuments, points of interest, right in that press release. So here's what I'm saying. When you're writing something off site that's not on your website, like a review or a press release, or you're doing a Google News, or you're writing a page on another website about your website, you're creating a backlink and you're writing an article on another website, you want to mention the area that you do the work in. But you want to make sure that you're writing for an area where you're not ranking. What good is it to write in an area that you're ranking? That's why you need to do a grid report. I have a link down below for Local Falcon. Just click the link. You know, it's my affiliate link and it's the same price. You need to use a grid reporting software to see where you're ranking and where you're not ranking. If you're not ranking in that area, you need somebody to be standing on those red dots using the word electrician. Write an article like a press release. Add in those areas that you do work in. This is how you rank locally. You need to show Google that you're the expert in that area and you do business in that area. Go into Google Business Profile and you just click link by link. So if you just go one by one right here, edit profile, these are the areas that you service. Just go one by one and just fill everything out. Just go one by one. Your reviews, your messages, your photos, upload enough photos, create products. I'm gonna do a video on that. I'm sure your mind's thinking right now as I'm talking, oh, I guess I could do this, I could do that. Yes, you can, that you are the expert in that area. All right, guys, listen, with that being said, I hope everybody has a good day. I hope this video helped you. I hope it shined a light on. But listen, that's how you rank. It's real simple. If there's something I could do to help you, see my cell number. Guys, most importantly, please take care of your family. Be good to your family. Kiss your wife. Kiss your kids. And we will catch you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye.